fronting heavily on Dallas. Mickle gets the flick off, looking for Free Child. Perfectly done for the Dallas Roughnecks. Stanley Peterson went down early in that game, separated shoulder. Um, and credit to Coach Tuba Benson Jaja making some key adjustments, which I'm sure we'll talk about throughout this game. That deep shot looking Mickle's way, and Jimmy runs it down just shy of the goal line. Coffin with a nice little cut. Like a football player going a little down. Backhand. Pannoni makes the catch. Raleigh up by 2 9 7 with 52 seconds left in the first. Helton had trouble getting the disc off his hands. It was a little sticky. Nether cut. Brian Casey to the end zone for the Flyers. How about that shot? And we said keep an eye on him. Well, look at him now. He is Majestic. From Nethercut to Helton, what a duo. Young players, take note. The flight trajectory of Jonathan Nethercut's throw on that. Of the game at nearly three and a half minutes long. Both of those players at the end of the point almost looked like they were running in cement. That point was so long. Jimmy Mickle. That is the style, the composure that they need from their offensive, defensive unit to win this game. I mean, we saw them throw seven or eight dump passes. From this weekend in the South Division, is it is it Jacksonville's win? Is it Raleigh's win? Or is it Dallas losing two in a row? I think Dallas has... Brown swings it to the far side. There's a sharp forehand. And this is Camp. Again, another guy who knows how to go and get it. Going to throw deep. You simply guard them under. You take away all opportunities under the disc. And if you can do that, then there's very few choices they have to throw. Pavel deep for Pardo, and that is. It's sort of a, almost like a five-man horizontal stack. Really unusual. I haven't seen that before from them. Rasmussen with a disc. Ooh. Rasmussen goes up top. Giving chase is Dolman. Has to make a slight adjustment and He's is in. able to get there. For Seattle seems to be comfortable making riskier throws. Oh, Eli Dolman's. Kearns just runs right by his guy. Great throw from Dolman. Get there. Oh. He can. Still lots of open people. Retail, oh, cross field. Puts it up top. Wow. wow. Looking for Davis, who makes a catch. As it's Sanchez swatting it away. Not a lot of time left here. Under 30 Ooh, seconds. Oh, big fake from Dahlman, opens it up. Wow. And a brilliant catch. Really? So time should expire oh, here. Big one. Oh, hold on. Wow, this might reach the end zone. That was a great throw. They can tip it. Oh, goes up in a crowd and Cohen comes down with it! Wow. At the end of that first half, they will win with legs Ooh, and with heart. On Cork's one. That's a great throw, and great it's an throw. easy catch for Brad. Get out, get out. to back, understandable, as we see the Phoenix looking to a one-on-one -on -one situation down the field. Nice throw to the back line if it stays in, and it sure does. Kind of a junk look there from Montreal to start the possession. As Philadelphia swings it over to Hone, and he's looking deep right away. And it's caught with the left hand in the end zone. Yeah. A little too aggressive, I guess. Gets the 10-yard penalty, a little bump on the mark. Spiva looking deep into coverage, but it's caught. Antoine Genet with the break backhand to get things started for the Montreal offense. And they continue on that break side to the end zone. And it's a beautiful score. Been a long road back for the Phoenix. 
looking deep to Brownlee. Brownlee milks it, and he's into the end zone. And a hammer totally open and dropped.